brings you roses and mystery starts. Life is a pulpery basket of hearts on the day your love comes alive. Tony nominee Laura Osnes makes her 54 Below debut with the new solo show, Laura Osnes Sings Maury Yeston. We're here to see Osnes take on this theatrical genius and hear why she loves his music. Laura, when did you first fall in love with the music of Maury Yeston? I got the Nine soundtrack when, probably before I moved to New York, at least like five to seven years ago, and uh, that was kind of my introduction to Maury. What inspired an entire concert of his catalog? Sure. Um, it was this kind of match made in heaven in a way. I was kind of looking to do something at 54 Below, as was Maury with his December songs, and they it just kind of magically happened where maybe I would be the right voice to get to showcase his work. Hi. What is moving about the music in December Songs? Oh gosh, December Songs tells the story of a young woman um, and the pain of lost love and her venture through it. And she kind of goes through all the stages of like denial and like, and then wanting it back again and then like trying to recover and then almost suicidal. And then at the end she kind of overcomes it and comes out stronger and is able to move on and is finally let go and come to this place of acceptance. Can we expect some other Yes and Tunes stuff from Nine or Grand Hotel or anything? Yeah, um, we're kind of um, bookending December songs with a couple other Maury Yeston tunes. So uh, we're opening with a mashup that uh, Fred Lassen, my music director, and I created to um, shimmy like they do in Perry from Death Takes a Holiday and I Want to Go to Hollywood from Grand Hotel. So that works really well. And then I'm doing like new words from um, In the Beginning and then I have one song from Nine. This is your second intimate solo concert in the last year what is what what do you love about this medium it's really kind of scary it's a good challenge and a good adventure for a performer to suddenly be stripped down of everything that we're used to having and just allowing yourself to be enough um, and yes I have my band and they're fantastic I have a quintet this time of strings and it's gonna be so delightful I can't wait um, but it's it's you get to interact with the audience in a completely different way and like everybody's guard is down and you just kind of get to be yourself and it's both scary but also really rewarding and wonderful. I'm still